for 20 points, the red team! <laughs> OK, Yellows, this is for you only. You're waiting for the gamble. Let's see if it's going to pay off. For 30 points, the opera singer Dame Kiri Tikanawa, Tikanawa was born in which Commonwealth country? Go on, take your guess. Go on, pressure me. You've got to take your guess. <laughs> well, I, well, I don't know if it was worth the gamble, actually. No, it was, in fact, New Zealand. Ah. Oh. Well, Red Team, you did well there, answering that question on 2 Unlimited. You get yourself to 20 points, but also, would you like to run the risk or nominate? Now, let me just some space up. I'm going to try and see if I can do a bit of wheeling dealing here. If you nominate another team, right, I'm going to give you, and they get it wrong, I'm going to give you an extra 30 points. What do you reckon? No, I don't, oh, oh, all right, you drive a hard bargain, all right? I'll give you 50 points. If you nominate another team and they don't get the, the risk right, then you're going to be up there in pole position. What do you want to do? Or would you like to run the risk? What do you want to do? Nominate. You want to nominate? Ah, oh, you want the points. Who would you like to nominate? Yellow. <laughs> Bit of a sad yellow, because yellow have been nominated to run the race! <laughs> this particular risk is called the log flume, and there we have all the opponents dressed as lumberjacks. They're going to be trying to stop the yellow team from getting all the way up to the gantry with those logs. Can they do it? We're going to give them 60 seconds. 60 seconds to make it run the race! <laughs> Away they go. Up. And they're in the gunge already. Is this slow stop? Now then, this is the difficult bit. They've got to get up themselves up. Daniel, get them to the side. That's it. Now get yourself up. Get your... The gunge coming down. We've got one up. Get up there. And up you go. Right. Get that bungee rope hook. We've got two up now. Daniel's made his way up. Daniel's made a good start. Just pull yourself up. Right, get them off. And they've got two up now. Daniel bouncing up quite well. Kate's off, the bungee sliding again. Go on, up, up you can. We've got two up, so Daniel's doing very well. Seconds on the clock, you've got 22. Go. And Daniel's made it to the top. Use Daniel's rope, uh, Lisa. Get on the Daniel's rope. There we are. Put yourself up on Daniel's rope. Good start. They're doing well now. Go, Lisa. The girls are doing well now. They're doing their way up. Well, it was an incredible, an incredible risk. Daniel, lay yourself down. Come on into the gunge. Unfortunately, the yellow team did not make that. <laughs> get in there. There they have it. Crash back, Wallop. The Reds get themselves 50 points.
but you'll need a lot of aim and a lot of teamwork because the yellow and red team are precariously sat on toast stools. Five of them are going to get gunged and go into it. You need them down in 60 seconds. Good luck. Are we ready, Rachel? It's all yours. On your mark, get set, run the risk. They've loaded up. They've got down. Rachel Scott's pushing as hard as he can. First aim. First aim totally misses. A little bit to the right. And there's Dan. He loads up again. We're coming down. Oh, it's nearly a blowout. Second time, Rachel just aiming to the right of the uh, red contestant, which, and it's just gone for a blowout. A major blowout, but no, it's too near. It's right in the middle. Dan loading up quickly. Hoping there's a gun jab. A major gun jab could happen now. Rachel looking stern, knowing that... Is she? No, no, she nearly did it on herself. She nearly did a backward reverse fire, which is something very difficult in this game. She's gone for a blowout. Oh, get it. Now. One down. Rachel going now for a mega one. No, no, he slipped. Dan's gone round the other side. Scott's holding on to the slide. Seconds to go. He's lost control now. Rachel, he cannot go. There's no grip now. The grip's gone. Yeah! <laughs> totally trashed the far side. This is a mega drop. And the bookie could go. <laughs> okay. Hold it where you are. Gather round here. Never mind. Yes, there it is. The points are shared. Red and yellow are very happy. They get 20 points each. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> 40 points is the yellow and blue teams, but taking a lead with a whacking 100 points is the Richie! Yeah. OK, let's have a game of true or false. Yeah. OK, then, Posse, true or false, right? Shane Ritchie is currently appearing in a West End musical. True or false? Sorry, it's false. It's in fact a West End hit musical. Well, this car is automatic. Right, thank you. Right, here we go. True or false? The Crankies have designed their own range of sports gear and leisure wear under the name of Nike Air Cranky. True or false? False. So all your life that is true. Check local press for details, everybody. Okay, true or false? Talented all-rounder Andrew O'Connor. False. 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 Talented all-rounder Andrew O'Connor can shut up for five minutes. True or false? False. You're right, it is false. He can't shut up. Well done. As we go in to round three of our questions. <laughs> okay, teams, turn to face the legend as we go into our last and final round. And these questions are all on TV and films. Get ready with your foot on the buzzer. Worth 30 points. Who directed the blockbuster movie Jurassic Park? <laughs> Yellow team. Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg for 30 points. Give it up for the yellows. <laughs> for 40 points, this is for the blue and red teams only. Which pop star has Kevin Costner to protect her in the bodyguard? Red team. Whitney, Whitney. Whitney Houston for 40 points. Give it up for the red. <laughs> okay, blue team, especially for you now, for 50 points. Who are Rocky, Colt, and Tum Tum? Who are Rocky, Colt, and Tum Tum. <laughs> Blue team? No. The answer is in fact the three ninja kids. Ah. Blue team didn't get it, but the red team get the points. We take your points. We put it together with the points you already have. And as you can see, in third place is the blue team in 40. Second place is the yellow team in 70. But up there in pole position is the red team with 140 points. As we go, run the risk finale. <laughs> Yes, they're back. The rodents return. My fairy friends, the mice, are back in action for our grand final. Of way out in pole position is the red mouse. And who do we have here? Alex. What do you think your chances are, Alex? You gonna win? Good luck. Confidence, that's what I like to see in a mouse. They could meet a mouse trap. They could even meet a cat. But they've got to get those team colored blocks. Who's gonna win? We're about to find out as we run the risk. Ah! Away they go, and it's red mouse way out in front. Yellow mouse catching. Third mouse, of course, is our blue. They're going to the maze, and to take over is Shane. Well, and um, red mouse has taken the lead. And don't forget, I've got two laps around the bouncy maze. The red one's just passing me now. A bit of a struggle between the yellow and blue. I don't know when I've got it, actually. And the red is bouncing well up into the lead. Followed closely by blue. And the yellow mouse seems to have lost his head. The red mice is in. And he's got to go through his own coloured block, which is in the middle there. He's punched his way through. The yellow's still got another lap to do. And blue is coming up behind. And the blue is all over the place. Red mice is making his way through the cheese. The blue one is not far behind the red. 
And the red one's still making his way through. The blue one has found his hole. The red mouse is through! The red mouse is through, now he's got to take his block and press his red button. He's looking for his block. He's found his block. The and goes, and there you have it. The red team members, the other two team members are all away now. They've got to go to the inflatable cone and get that second team colour block. Once they have that, the third block is in the gunge. They're trying to get off the revolve, finding it a little bit difficult. One slides into the gunge, and the blue team members are away now. They block. No, they're not. I've just seen a blue team base go in there. That's off the cone. Red team are looking. Look for your, look for your coloured block there. And have we got it? We've got, we've got the second team red block, which is a good, a good. They've got two. Alex is now racing down the runway, having lost one foot. They're coming round. We have it here. It is terrific. Absolutely. A first-class job. Everybody from the red team, well done. Today's winner. In third place, your blue team, they're going to be groomed, sleek and styled with their own Snoopy hairdryer, hair care products. In second place, for the yellow team, they'll be in a spin with his plexus.